Today, nice, beautiful 50 degree spring Texas. We're going to add a mulching kit to the Toro Time Cutter SS3225. Now we're going to keep the grass from being shot out through this little vent here. And the kit will not only keep it from shooting out, but it'll chop the grass up literally making a degradable compost in your yard. The basic steps are lower your deck all the way down, remove the deck so you can slide it out and get to it, attach the mulch kit, put the deck back in, and then go have fun. All right, let's take a pick of the deck. We have to take this off, this little cotter pin, and pull that little bar out and the front will drop and then when we do that look here this back here is just hanging it comes around the back and a little hook hangs on this thick bar there's one on both sides see the one over there so when we take the front off we're going to push it back and unhook those hooks this right here Second step. The third step is we've got to disengage the belt. Since this belt is underneath this little fixture, the way to do it when we push this back is take the belt off of the back wheel back there. It's way in the back. You can see it back there. We'll just we'll be back far enough it'll drop right off and that way when we pull the deck out, the belt's gonna come with it. Alright, pull this off. And then when we push this washer off. When we push this out, be careful you don't have anything underneath here because the deck's going to fall. All right, watch your fingers. I'm going to lift this up here and get that to go back and drop off of the horizontal bar. I don't know where to lift it from. Maybe I'll just lift it from the spring. There it goes. Drop it. Okay, got my helper on the other side. Lift it up. No, lift it from the back on the back side. Push it backwards and drop it. Just drop it to the ground. Okay? Are you okay? Yes. Okay. Now, we're gonna slide this back a little bit. Push back on the push back on it. Push back toward the back wheel. Okay. Now we're gonna go get that. Go back underneath there and take that belt off. Okay, you can see the belt just dropped off of the off of the pulley back there. So now we can just pull this deck a little forward. Pull it back a little forward. Pull forward some, and then we're going to push it toward you and slide it out. So go ahead and pull it toward you. Okay, let's grab this somewhere. Pull it down some. Yeah, pull it out. Set it on here. There we go. Okay, we have it out. We're gonna clean it up a little bit, but we took off the pin here, took these two hooks off, and then take the belt off the back. Basically, one cotter pin holds the whole deck secure, plus gravity on the hooks. Okay, here's the instructions for the 32-inch recycler kit. Stop the engine, remove the cutting deck. We did that, turn the mower upside down. Uh, I think they mean the cutting deck because I'm not turning the mower upside down. Remove lock nuts and bolts securing a cutoff baffle to the underside of deck. Retain all parts and fasteners. All right, let's turn this over. And the other side. Turn it over. And lift it up. Okay. 
going to take off these nuts and bolts that hold on the cutoff baffle. That's existing. All right. So. All right, we're gonna put a wrench on this knot. These nuts are really rusted out and turn the socket from the other side. I got this little chute off, but this one, is second screw is real painful. So I think I'm just gonna cut it with the grinder right there. Most of the instructions, you know, you're using new, new lawnmowers and stuff, but this one, the rocks have been hitting the screw head and it's rusted. Now we're going to attach four kicker plates in here, the bolt lock nut, and then one bolt's longer. I think it goes up and connects to something else on the top. So that would be here. And presumably this is the exit hole right here. All right, we have the shorter nuts and one long one and they have a little lock inside of them so once we get them started and secure it with a wrench on one side we can use the socket there's no lock washer it's a lock nut and we put them in here like this there's four of them and there's only one way really for them to go sort of like that this little V up like right here put the bolt head on the other side. Okay, step three. We're going to install deck rings all the way around this, starting attaching it right past the hole and going around. Looks like they overlap each other. There should be a little elevated lip. There's a little L bend that's going to go here. And it looks like it just uses. One. Okay, you see this one only overlapped, it didn't go all the way. And then this one, it overlapped all the way. We fit a hole. This one didn't go all the way a little bit. And this one is not aligned. So I'm going to have to get a drill and drill through here and drill a new hole out. Someone mentioned that when I was looking at something online, they don't fit perfectly. It fits. Watch out for the heat. Double yay. All right. Go ahead and fill it. Okay. Not quite even, but close enough the deck ring on. Now we're installing the discharge cover. This must be the screw, the longer screw. It's going to have a wing nut on it and slip, fits inside of here and then there's a little pin that's going to attach it. Okay, well when we're putting this on, I realized we get all these bolts upside down. So we got the old tool out and change them out in a couple minutes because I noticed that this takes a wing nut so we weren't paying attention okay this is being a little picky here it 
There we go. One through. All right. I'm gonna get my screw back through. There's just enough room with that lock washer to catch the wing nut. Straighten it up, turn it. Okay, that looks nice and tight. We put the realign the belt again. It's, a, it's got a narrow end and a wide end. We've got the narrow end facing the pulley. And definitely the back pulley has the narrow end on the inside. This is just a guide, so this will turn on and on to engage it. Tightens it up or pulls it away to engage it when you shift. So we're just going to slide it on the cardboard. We'll probably rotate the cardboard that way. It doesn't scratch up all those pieces of black metal we just put on. Yeah. Grab that side. Okay, pull it back up this way. Okay. Now, do you want to push or pull? You want to get on that side and pull the cardboard? Uh, Get on this side and push it. Get down there. Oh, okay. Go back a little bit. Okay. Ready? All right. When we put this back on, this vertical piece here. Is going to be the inside of the hook in this little box so you have a box here and a hook here the vertical is going to be on the inside Are you on the inside okay so first thing we're going to do is make the belt go on in the back so come underneath this frame here see the frame there you go there that's what was kind of crazy all right so now everything is on there pull pull the belt forward so it holds a little snug okay all right, let's go raise it on the hooks. So we're gonna slide it forward a little bit. The deck, it'll tighten up the belt. You got slide it forward. Slide the deck forward. There you go, keep going. All right. Now you're gonna lift it up onto the hook. Lift the hook up onto the bar. See the bar right in front? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna lift the hook up. No, not the vertical, the horizontal round bar. Yeah. The hook. See my hook right here? See this hook? Uh -huh. That has to go on this bar. Okay, you gotta lift it up. Kick it forward. You got yours on? Okay, we got them on. Be careful you don't get your fingers pinched underneath the deck. And see the hook? on hook on the other side is on now we're going to attach the cotter pin to the front it would be Now we have to make sure right, this belt is on this pulley. It's like it slipped off. Get it started and give it a turn. <clears throat> oh, there we go.
recycler. We're done.